Hello students, today we are going to start a new chapter that is fractions. So let us have a brief introduction about it. We are going to introduce fraction whenever we have a whole part and some part of it. For example, over here you can see a pizza that is one complete whole pizza. And if it is divided into parts, then each part can easily be written with the help of fractions. Let us see another video over here. You can see here one complete whole fruit that is orange. Now if this one whole orange is divided into two parts then each part again can easily be written with the help of fractions. So class whenever we talk about parts we introduce fraction. Also here you can see a complete one glass which is filled with milk. So we can easily find that how much part of the glass is filled with milk and how much part of the glass is empty. So whenever we introduce parts or whenever we discuss about parts, parts of one complete whole thing, then we introduce fractions. So what is a fraction? Let us define fraction. Fraction is a part of a whole. It is a part of a whole. That means whenever we are going to have a whole part, then the some part of it can easily be represented, can easily be written with the help of fractions. And fractions are written in the form of A upon B, right? Where A and B are positive integers and also B is not equal to 0. And A is known as numerator and B is known as denominator. You can see B is written in the down direction. So B is written in down, so D for down and D for denominator. So A over here is the numerator and B over here is denominator, right? So for example, again, let us take a whole thing. Let us suppose we have a circle over here. And if this circle has some parts, let us divide the circle into four parts. Now, very important thing over here is all the four parts are identical. That means all the four parts are equal. So we can define fraction whenever we have equal parts, right? So here one whole thing is a circle and this circle is divided into parts. How many? Four. Which type of parts? Equal parts, right? Four equal parts. And let us suppose if we shade one part, right? If we shade one part over here, then can we find out fraction of shaded parts or how much part of the circle is shaded? It is definitely can easily be written in fractions. How? First of all, let us count how many total parts are there. How many total equal parts we have? Four inside the circle. And out of these four parts, how many are shaded? We know that only one part is shaded over here. So what is going to be the fraction of shaded parts? Fraction of shaded parts is written as or fraction is equals to part upon whole. We are going to write part in the numerator and whole in the denominator. So how many parts is shaded? Only one. So one is going to be written in numerator. Whereas you can see in the denominator, we are going to write whole. And how many whole? Parts are there, there are 4 equal parts. So 4 will be written in the denominator. Hence, the fraction we have got over here is equals to 1 upon 4. So the answer is fraction of shaded parts is equals to 1 upon 4. Or we can easily read it as 1 part out of how many? Out of total 4 parts. Remember that all these parts are equal parts. They, they are equal parts always. Now, what happens when we have collection of things? If we have to find out fraction of collections, in a box there are 11 cookies. Let us suppose, let us take example that in a box there are 11 cookies and out of these 11 cookies, I eat 3 cookies, right? So, if I eat 3 cookies out of total 11 cookies, then what is the fraction of cookies I have eaten? The fraction again we have to find out, it is going to be how much? 3 cookies out of 11 cookies. So they can be written in upon form very easily in A upon B form. How? It is going to be written as 3 upon 11. 3 cookies are eaten out of how many? Out of total 11 cookies. So when whenever we have to form a fraction, the total part, the whole part is always written in the denominator, right? And the part that we have eaten or the part that is shaded is always written in the numerator. So 3 is the numerator over here and 11 is the denominator. So this is how class we can form a fraction in A upon B form, right? So let us over here understand some examples. 
क्वेश्चन सेज दैट फॉर ईच पिक्चर राइट डाउन दी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ शेडेड एंड अनशेडेड पार्ट एंड ओवर इयर द पिक्चर इज गिवन टू अस नाउ दिस पिक्चर इज ऑफ वन कंप्लीट रेक्टेंगल एंड इन साइड दिस रेक्टेंगल देर आर सो मेनी स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल्स एंड विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑल दी रेक्टेंगल्स आर equal they are identical right they are same so we can easily count that how many small rectangles we have they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 in in one one row and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 in one column so how many total 8 into 5 equals to 40 so there are 40 total equal parts we have 40 equal rectangles we have now out of these 40 rectangles how many are shaded let us count them in the first row they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so total how many shaded parts are there 15 out of total how many out of 40 right so we can easily make over here that number of shaded parts is equals to 15 and total number of parts is equals to 40 therefore fraction of shaded parts is equals to part upon whole and that is 15 upon 40 dividing it by 5 we are going to get 5 3s are 15 Five eights are forty. So three upon eight is our final answer. This is our final answer. Fraction of shaded part is going to be how much? Three upon eight. Now one more thing we need to find, and what is it? Unshaded parts. So can we find out fraction of unshaded parts? Definitely yes. We can easily count how many unshaded parts are there, and we already know the total parts. It is equals to forty. So we can make the fraction very easily. Or Also, if we know how much shaded parts are there, that is three upon eight, we can easily find the unshaded parts with the help of three upon eight. How? Simply by subtracting from one. Right? This is one complete whole thing we have. So when we subtract three upon eight from one, we are going to get the remaining parts, and the remaining parts are definitely what they are unshaded. So here we can write that fraction of unshaded parts is equals to 1 minus 3 upon 8 and that is going to be 8 minus 3 whole upon 8 taking lcm so the answer is going to be 5 upon 8 this is going to be our final answer 5 upon 8 fraction of unshaded part i hope you have understood the question let us move on to the second question it says that For each picture, write down the fraction of shaded and unshaded part. So again, there is another picture, and here in this picture, again we need to uh, write down the fraction of shaded and unshaded parts, right? So here we can observe that there is one complete square, and one complete square is divided into four equal squares, right? Four small squares we have. Now, when we observe the shaded parts, we see that one part is a square and another part is a triangle. That means they are not identical to each other. So we cannot count them as yes, two parts are shaded. No, that will be wrong. So how many parts are shaded? How to find it? Always remember, class, we should have identical parts, right? So can we make identical parts over here? Definitely yes. How? we can easily make two lines diagonally now you can see that one complete square was equally divided into squares four small squares and those four small squares are further divided into two triangles right two triangles in each square and all these triangles are identical they are same that means again we have got equal parts how many let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 there are eight triangles and all the eight triangles are identical they are equal so out of these eight triangles how many triangles are shaded now we can easily count 1 2 and 3 there are three triangles shaded so what is going to be the fraction fraction is always 
fraction of shaded parts it is part upon whole so how many parts are shaded three parts are shaded and how many whole parts are there there are total eight parts right so the fraction is going to be fraction of shaded parts is equals to number of parts upon whole and that is going to be how many parts are shaded we have already counted it 3 and how many total parts are there 8 hence 3 upon 8 is going to be the final answer similarly we can easily find out fraction of unshaded parts by counting how many parts are unshaded over here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 5 parts are unshaded therefore the answer is going to be 5 upon 8 but also there is one more alternative method over here we can easily subtract this 3 upon 8 from 1 to get the remaining parts and remaining parts are unshaded definitely so we can find out the answer as fraction of unshaded parts is going to be how much we can easily subtract 3 upon 8 from 1 taking lcm it is going to be 8 minus 3 all upon 8 and 8 minus 3 will give us 5 5 upon 8 is the final answer also logically we have count that how many unshaded parts are there there are total 5 unshaded parts so a 5 upon 8 is going to be the fraction of unshaded parts this is how class we can easily find out the fractions fraction of shaded and unshaded parts i hope you have understood it